What is going on guys, it is Casual Savage and in this video I'm going to be telling you how to save battery on iOS 8. So I'm going to keep this video nice and short and get straight into it. So first of all you want to turn Wi-Fi auto search to off. As uh, something of an extension to the first tip, you can also prevent your device from searching for networks all the time, which is not only unnecessary, you can toggle it on via the control center when you do wish to connect to a hotspot, but also strain on the battery. For this you go to settings, Wi-Fi, ask to join networks and toggle it to off. Second, see which apps are using the most battery. In iOS 8, Apple has made it possible for users to check use on an app by app basis. Thus, by navigating through settings, general, usage, battery usage, you can quickly determine which apps are using your battery up the most and either use them less or even delete them altogether. Number three is turn off Parallax. The Parallax feature just rolled out with iOS 7 and as well as proving a bit of a headache in the literal sense for some users initially, all warrants additional battery. To disable it, go to Settings, General, Accessibilities, Reduce Motion and toggle it to On. Disable Background Updates. Apps automatically updating to the latest version is seamless and all, but if you're out and about and worried about keeping the device alive, having the latest version of Facebook installed becomes somewhat less important. To save battery, go to Settings, iTunes and App Store and at the bottom simply toggle Updates to Off under Automatic Downloads. Number 5. Stop background apps from refreshing. The great thing about disabling background app refresh is that it's not all or nothing. So by going to settings general background app refresh, you can pick and choose which you want to continue refreshing and which you'd like to kill off. Number 6. Location services. Many apps ask to see your location, which is not only quite invasive, but when an app uses location services, it also dips into your battery life. If you're using, say, a navigation app, then obviously location services are a must. But if you're not, settings, privacy, location services, and remove those that you feel don't need to know where you are. Number 7. Turn off 4G LTE. It may be lightning quick, but 4G LTE is a battery hug. And if it's not especially critical that you're running a super snappy connection, consider disabling 4G by going to settings, phone, Enable LTE. Number 8. Disable auto brightness and dim your display. Auto brightness is self explanatory and in that it automatically brightens up your display. But the trade off, as with many useful iOS 8 features, is that more battery is used than necessary. Go to settings, display and brightness. You can disable auto brightness and if you also turn the brightness down lower, as low as you can manage without it adversely affecting the experience, then you'll save even more battery. Disable push notifications for certain apps. Sure, being notified of that at mention or Facebook like is the be all and end all, but if you get any apps sending you push notifications that tend to ignore, then head to settings notifications and under include toggle away. And number 10, use aeroplane mode more. People don't use this because they don't actually realize what it does for you. Although it's probably critical that your iPhone is kept online at all times for obvious reasons, your iPad or iPod Touch doesn't need to be online when you're, say, reading a book or watching a movie already downloaded onto your device. Airplane mode is easily accessible from your settings app or control center, and if you get yourself into a habit of utilizing it, you'll be amazed by the additional time that your device remains powered up. Number 11. Disable system services for location. There are some background location services which take a toll on battery life without the user being known about it. Go to settings, privacy, location services, system services and toggle off location based alert, location based i.e. ads, spotlight suggestions, Wi-Fi networking and frequent locations. Note you can toggle other services off too, but that might disable feature for some apps like share my location for messages. Number 12. Disable automatic time update. iOS 8 keeps the device clock updated at all times and in doing so it uses your location and hence takes it toll on battery life. 
To disable this feature, just go to Settings, General, Date and Time and turn Set Automatically to Off. Number 13, you need to turn off Bluetooth. Bluetooth is turned on by default in iOS 8 and it's a feature which can take its toll on battery life it's kept on for no good reason. Simply slide up on the control center and tap the Bluetooth icon to turn it off. Number 14, disable hand off and suggested apps. A killer iOS feature by a long shot, but a battery drainer nonetheless. Simply navigate to settings, general, hand off and suggested apps and turn every toggle off in the resulting page. Number 15, disable airdrop. It sounds like an awesome feature for quickly sharing stuff between iOS users, but it can be a battery hug when left running in the background. Simply drag up from the bottom of your display to bring up control center and then tap on airdrop and then tap on off. Finally, remove background apps. So on your multitasking, when you double click the home button, you'll notice some apps come up. These are the apps that you have used, but are still running in the background. Now what you do, you just double click the home button and swipe up and it will remove the apps. Again, this is if you're not using them, just swipe up, remove them. This will save you a lot of battery. You will notice a difference with this as well. And with doing this, you will notice the performance of the phone or iPod or iPad will actually become a bit faster. And yeah, that is all the tips I have for you today. I really hope they have helped and hopefully you can now enjoy your iOS experience much better, much longer. And yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I post daily. Also be sure to check out my FIFA channel where I post daily. And finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, rate, and post. Second nature now, mama said I make a pair, I told her I made a pair just to wait around.